Here I'm looking at black cherry. It's in the family Rosaceae, in the genus Prunus, and the specific epithet is Serotina. Let's take a closer look at its characteristics. The bark of cherry is typically smooth, often with a metallic color to it, and very common to have prominent lenticels moving horizontally, which are these whitish color lines. So on black cherry, the color is a darker, not quite black, but definitely a darker color. And the young bark is smooth. As the bark ages, it breaks into plates that recurve a bit off the trunk. The leaves and buds are arranged alternately on the stem. And you can see the terminal bud is fairly small pointed, a little bit imbricate. And right now it's green, but that'll change color to sort of a, a brownish, reddish color. Also on cherry twigs, if you scratch a little bit just below the bark and you smell that, you get an almond or sort of a burnt almond smell that comes out. Some people really like it, others find it uh, unpleasant, but a little bit of a burnt almond smell. This is a single leaf on black cherry and it has just slightly toothed or serrated edge. Darker on the top, fairly narrow, coming to a point. On the underside, if you look close along the base of the midrib, you can see little orange hairs. Now this isn't on every leaf, but on many, or if you check through, you'll see these little orange hairs just along the base of the midrib on the underside. Here's black cherry from a little bit of a distance. Uh, this one is multi-trunked. It's more common to see black cherry as a single trunk that goes up a fairly narrow crown, but this gives you some idea of what the foliage looks like from a distance. It does pr produce an edible cherry, um, although most people don't grow them for that reason.